Well, in Ghana, women generally don't own property, and that includes land. And so even though women may work on land, at the end of the day, they don't control the products. So if you have women who have helped their families to farm, it is the man who determines how the grains are given out or used. And so it's the same thing that applies to anything that has to do with land in terms of rights and even tenure because women don't own property. And so when you grow a forest as a woman, the land still doesn't belong to you. So the forest does not belong to you. So if the, the land doesn't belong to you, if the forest does not belong to you, then it, it is uh, sure that even the benefits of the forest will not also be controlled by you. And so these are the entrenched traditional beliefs, practices that go against women in terms of land tenure systems, as in every other uh, discriminatory practices in Ghana. The challenge is that a lot of women are not informed of their rights. They are not aware of their rights. We have legislation. Uh, there's a legislation on property rights at the death of a spouse where a woman can now claim the property of the spouse. But unfortunately, a lot of women are not even aware of the existence of such an act or a legislative uh, instrument. Government doesn't also have the political will to ensure that women assess these rights as laid down in the legislative instruments. Women's education is very low, so they cannot even read enough to inform themselves of what is happening. Traditional rulers, who are the immediate leaders within communities, also have their entrenched position when it comes to women's rights. And so even though our constitution, the Ghana constitution 1992, states that all discriminatory practices against women should be reformed, traditional rulers have not made a very serious attempt to reform this. In fact, when you look at it, they even get more entrenched from their perspectives. And so all those are challenges that uh, Red has to face in trying to look at land tenure and rights and benefits of Red if the pro program has to succeed.